Hey everyone! So right now we're in the middle of summer, which means that fall is just around the corner. And so I imagine that a lot of people are getting ready to apply for graduate school, which will be due sometime in the late fall, winter time frame. And so I felt like it might be useful to make a video to help people answer a question that they're probably wondering as they're thinking about applying, which is, should I apply for a PhD program or a master's program? And so in this video, I wanted to cover a couple questions that I think that you should probably be asking yourself when you're considering whether or not to apply for one program or the other. Because a master's and a PhD, they are fairly different commitments. And so it's important for you to uh, get this right and be thorough with figuring out which you want to pursue. And so hopefully this will be helpful for you. And in this video, I'm going to assume that most of the people watching are strongly leaning towards attending graduate school of some form. A lot of people, after their bachelor's, they get the job that they want, or there's a startup or a project that they want to go into, and they don't want to deal with graduate school. And that's totally fine. But this video is strongly geared towards people who are considering continuing school after college. So the first question you want to ask yourself is, what kind of career goals do I have? For instance, if you want to be a professor, or if you want to go into research at a national lab, or research in industry, a lot of these uh, occupations, a lot of these jobs require having a PhD. Either that or they would strongly prefer someone with a PhD. And if that is the, the sort of position or role you want in the future, then it makes sense to get a, a degree and spend the years doing the PhD. A lot of these positions, because they are doing research, they want someone who is well practiced in research. And usually a PhD program is structured properly to train students to be prepared for roles like those. However, if you want to work on, on product or if you're making a startup, a lot of these positions, they don't necessarily require a PhD. Having a master's is just enough. In some cases, even a bachelor degree is enough, but a master's can allow you to further specialize in a particular topic or field. And so that's why you might consider a master's instead of having a PhD. So you want to think hard about the roles that you want to apply for, let's say if you theoretically graduated in a couple years. It might be helpful to do some research on what kind of jobs are out there and see what kind of prerequisites or preferences they have in the candidates that are applying for that particular position. Now the next important question that you want to ask yourself is, and this is an obvious question but it is a very important question and often it's a deal breaker for some people, you want to ask yourself, Am I willing to devote the necessary amount of time into a particular degree? Master's programs often take one or two years, while PhD programs can take, on average, five, six years. I know people who have taken 10 years to finish their PhD, and I've heard stories of people taking even longer than that. So, you know, let's say it takes you know, 14 years. I've heard of cases 14 years, and, you know, let's say you hit 30. That's like half of your life doing a PhD. So the time commitment is huge. Some schools, some undergrads, they offer a co-term program where you can stay at your school, do one more year, and in five years you have both your master's and your bachelor's degree. And so that's very time effective. And PhD obviously is, is much longer. And yeah, I went into the PhD program thinking, yeah, I'll take a couple years to do this. but. Once I'm in the program, I did realize throughout the degree, it is a very long degree. It just kind of keeps going and going and going. And it's a marathon. And spending that much time in school can be scary for some people. And so you really want to decide, do I want to put in that much time into this degree, into my education? And if you really love learning, then for those people, you know, PhD might be a great option. The next set of questions you might want to ask yourself is, what is my current financial state? And what are my goals in terms of finances, making money uh, for the future? And that can really influence whether or not you want to do that master's or a PhD. If you spend one or two years doing a master's, you'll likely graduate, you'll become a stronger expert in the field, and you'll likely receive a very quick pay bump considering the fact that you only spent an additional one or two years in school. On the other hand, uh, doing a PhD, you're spending five, six years. 
It's true that doing a PhD might give you an additional pay bump, but I'm gonna be real with you. When I first joined the PhD program, my advisor specifically told me that doing a PhD is not a smart financial decision. Because if you think about it, on top of the master's, you're doing an additional three, four, five, maybe more years. And during those years, had you graduated early instead with, say, the master's, you're getting a normal uh, salary each of those years. On top of that, you're getting raises, bonuses, stocks, whatever it is that the, the place that you're joined is paying. On the other hand, had you stayed in a PhD program, you're only getting paid a student stipend, which, trust me, is, is not very much. And so once you graduate with a PhD, you do have to play a little bit of catch up to a lot of the people who've graduated early and started working. So if money is a really big deal for you, in most cases, the smart decision to do would be to do the master's and then graduate and start working. Because master's is sort of a happy medium. You have a higher salary compared to when you graduate with just a bachelor's, but the amount of time that you need to spend to get that pay bump is much less than what you need to spend on a PhD. Now, the next question you also wanna ask yourself is, what kind of a grad program am I looking for between a master's and a PhD? Now, I'm gonna make a quick detour actually, and this is important. Even master's programs vary from school to school and department to department. Some master's programs only require you to take additional classes, and that is basically the master's degree. You, you specialized in a topic by taking a few extra semesters, quarters of courses, so that you are better in tune with, with the field of your interest. Now, other master's programs actually require you to write a master's thesis. So you want to decide what kind of master's degree experience you want or what is being offered at the school that you're interested in. But assuming that you're choosing a master's degree that requires you to write a thesis, what's the difference between a master's thesis and a PhD thesis? Quick disclaimer, I've never written a master's thesis myself. I only have experience writing my PhD dissertation. But from what I've heard, the difference between a master's thesis and a PhD thesis is that in a PhD thesis, the writer, the author, has to demonstrate novel results. In their research, they need to write papers and publish results that no one has ever worked on before. So that's why a PhD takes much longer. A master's thesis, unlike a PhD thesis, doesn't necessarily need to have results that are novel. Rather, they need to demonstrate mastery in a particular uh, field or subfield. And so this can involve working on a very complex project or performing some sort of application based on concepts that are already known. But in that sense, that's a big difference between the master's program and a PhD uh, research program. And that's why a PhD takes those additional years. And to wrap up this video, there are two additional questions that you should ask yourself when you're choosing specifically between a PhD and a master's program. And those two questions are, number one, do I enjoy lab work? And number two, are there any professors at the school of choice that I'm applying to that I wanna work with? And, and those two I'm gonna answer together. The first question is, obviously, if you're gonna do a PhD, you're gonna be spending all of your time in your lab, especially towards the end. The first couple years, you might be taking classes, but towards the end, eventually your life will basically be spent in the lab. Classes are just sort of like a supplement that you do on the side to enrich your learning. And that's why it's very important for you to do research as an undergrad if you're trying to decide whether or not to go into graduate school or a PhD program, because you wanna see if you actually enjoy doing research or working in a lab. If you hate it, the PhD is just totally not for you. A master's program, because it's just one or two years, even if you don't really appreciate research and you're doing some master's uh, dissertation or master's research project, it should be fine because you're graduating pretty soon. But a PhD is a much longer commitment. If you hate research, then, then it's just gonna be a nightmare for you if you choose to do the PhD program. Okay, now assuming you like research, the second question you need to ask yourself when you're applying to a particular, now this is school specific, okay? If you're applying for a particular school for a PhD, you wanna ask yourself if there are, is actually a professor that you wanna work for in that institution. If there is no professor at the school that works on something that you're interested in, or 
if there's no professor at the school that you want to work with, then there's no need to even consider doing the PhD. It's a waste of time to apply for the program because the whole point of a PhD is to work with a particular professor that you're excited to work with and learn from them. And it's a great opportunity because some of these schools, their professors are at the top of the field and working with people like that, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. If you work hard, put in the time, you can graduate with expertise that make you a very unique candidate for whatever it is you choose to do after. And so the PhD can offer a rare once in a lifetime type experience. But if there's no specific professor or project you wanna work on at the school that you're applying to, then there's no need to even apply for the PhD. You might as well just do the masters. And so those are my thoughts. Now I wanna wrap this video up and let you know that this decision may be important, but you actually do have some time to think about it. For instance, if you choose to do a master's and you later change your mind and realize, oh, I wanna do a PhD afterwards, you have the choice to make that transition. Or if you go into a PhD program and you decide, well, this isn't right for me, you can leave early and graduate with a master's. So you have the option to transition between the two and nothing is set in stone. I personally know people who have done both and they all turned out just fine. So I hope that this video was helpful and that this gives you some questions to think about so you can make a good decision for yourself. This is, you know, a couple years of your life, so you want to spend your time wisely. Anyway, good luck with everything and I'll see you next time.